Have you ever wondered what it takes to command the skies? What the cost of unrivaled speed, stealth, and firepower really is? Welcome to another episode of Notify Channel. Today, we'll be going to explore the world's most expensive fighter jets. In the realm of military aviation, the stakes are high, and so are the costs. We're not just talking about a few million dollars here. We're venturing into the territory of hundreds of millions. So, buckle up as we explore the realms of advanced engineering and precision and answer the burning question. Are these flying marvels worth their weight in gold? You may not have heard much about the Sukhoi Su-57, but it's one of the cheapest stealth fighter jets in the world right now. It's a sleek, twin-engine, multi-role fighter that can do all kinds of missions. It's also the first Russian jet to have stealth technology, which makes it harder to detect by radar. The Russians are really proud of their Su-57, and they're trying to sell it to other countries with flashy ads and diplomatic talks. The Chinese are already interested in buying some because they know the Su-57 is a bargain for its performance. How much does it cost? Only $40 million per jet, that's a steal. The Sukhoi Su-35 is another Russian jet that you don't want to mess with. It's a single-seat, twin-engine fighter that can pull off amazing maneuvers in the air. It's based on the older Sukhoi Su-27, but it has been upgraded and modernized to become a formidable air superiority fighter. The Chinese liked it so much that they ordered some for themselves. And they're not the only ones. There are rumors that Algeria, India, Iran, and Turkey might also buy some Su-35S soon. How much do they have to pay? About $85 million per jet. That's not cheap, but it's worth it for such a powerful fighter. The F.A. 18 Hornet is a versatile and deadly fighter jet that can strike both in the air and on the ground. It has been in service since 1986, and it has proven itself in many conflicts from Libya to Iraq. The Hornet is designed for the U.S. Navy, but other countries like Finland and Spain also use it. The Hornet has been upgraded over the years, and the latest version is the Block 3, which has more advanced features and capabilities. The most expensive variant of the Hornet cost a whopping $100 million per jet. Chengdu J-20 is China's answer to the F-22 Raptor. It's a stealthy twin-jet fighter that can dominate the skies and strike with precision. It's also a sign of China's military progress and independence, as it no longer relies on Russian technology for its aircraft. The Chengdu J-20 is the fastest and most advanced stealth fighter in China, and it cost $4.4 billion to develop. That means each jet costs about $110 million. That's a lot of money, but it's worth it for such a powerful fighter. The 15E Strike Eagle is a dual-role fighter that can handle both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It's a multi-role strike fighter that can fly in any weather condition. It first flew in 1986, and it has been in service since 1988. It has been involved in many military operations in places like Afghanistan, Libya, and Iran. The Strike Eagle has different versions and upgrades. Some of the countries that use it are Saudi Arabia, Israel, and South Korea. The Defense Department says that one F-15EX a version of the F-15E costs about $110 million, but it could go up to $136.7 million with all the combat gears. The French have some of the best fighter jets in the world, and the Dassault Rafale is one of them. The Rafale is so flexible that Dassault calls it an omnivore aircraft because it can do any kind of combat mission. Right now, the Dassault Rafale costs about $115 million per jet, and that doesn't include the maintenance cost. The fighter jet has fought in Iraq, Libya, and Afghanistan, and it has also been bought by several air forces of other countries like Greece, Croatia, Indonesia, and Qatar.
The Eurofighter Typhoon is a joint project of four European countries, UK, Germany, Spain, and Italy. It's a twin-engine, multi-role fighter jet that can dominate the air and attack the ground. It's one of the most advanced swing-roll combat aircraft in the world, and it's used by nine air forces across the globe. The Eurofighter Typhoon is made by a consortium of Airbus, BAE Systems, and Leonardo. It's cheaper for European countries, but for non-European countries, it costs about $124 million per jet. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a huge deal. It's not just a stealthy multi-role fighter jet that can fly in any weather condition. It's also a spy plane that can do reconnaissance, intelligence, surveillance, and electronic warfare. It can also fight and strike in the air and on the ground. For a fighter jet that can do all that, the F-35 Lightning II is very expensive. According to a budget document from the U.S. government, the most expensive version of the F-35 Lightning II, the F-35B, costs about $135.8 million per jet. And that's not all. The aircraft is expected to last for 66 years and it will cost about $1.3 trillion to operate. The F-22. Raptor is a joint project of Lockheed Martin and Boeing for the United States of America. It took them six years to develop the F-22 Raptor before the stealthy tactical fighter jet flew for the first time in Georgia in 1977. The F-22 Raptor started serving in 1995 and it's still in service today, but the last one was delivered in 2012. The F-22 Raptor is a key part of America's aerial warfare but it was too expensive to produce and there were not many air-to-air -air missions when it was made. That's why they only made a few of them. Lockheed Martin spent about $67.3 billion on the program, which means each F-22 Raptor costs about $360 million. The B-2 Spirit is a stealth bomber made by Northrop Grumman for America. It's the best long-range strike bomber in the world and it has been flying for over 30 years. It has been involved in many air campaigns by America. It's also the most survivable aircraft in the world and it holds the record for the longest air combat mission ever. It flew for 70 hours straight from Missouri to Afghanistan and back in 2001. The B-2 Spirit has a wingspan that's half as long as a football field. The stealth bomber was very expensive to make and the cost went up during production to more than $2.1 billion. That's why the American government only bought 21 of them instead of 132. We've seen the extreme capabilities of these machines, their strategic importance, and the astonishing technological advancements they represent. Each one is a symbol of national pride and military might, each one a testament to human innovation. What are your thoughts on these aviation marvels and their jaw-dropping price tags? Do you think they're worth the cost or is this an arms race that's spiraling out of control? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to comment below. If you've enjoyed this high-altitude adventure and want to continue exploring the fascinating world of military tech, don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay curious and keep your sights on the sky.